example, E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5 are equally likely events. Equally likely events means the probability of happening of these five events are equal. That means again P of E1 equals to P of E2 equals to P of E3 equals to P of E4 equals to P of E5. Now what is exact probability? So number of events are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the probability of any of these events is 1 by 5 or say 0.2. Okay, now we are interested in calculation of some basic prob probabilities. Say first of all, what is probability of A? A is made up of E1 and A2. That means either E1 happens or E2 happens, we can say that A has happened. So probability of A is probability of E1 plus probability of E2. That means 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 so it is 2 by 5 p of a comes to 2 by 5 or say 0 0.4 similarly what is p of b e3 e4 so it is P of E3 plus P of E4. Again 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 that is 2 by 5 or 0.4. And P of C. What is C? Okay, E2 or E3 or E5. So P of C is P of E2 plus P of E3 plus P of E5. That means 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 that is 3 by 5 or 0.6. A means E1 or E2, B means E3, E4. Is intersection of A and B possible? A intersection B equals to no common element or no common. So it is a null set. That means probability of A intersection B is statistically zero. It is impossible event. Now next case. Let us text. P of A union B. P of A union B. It is P of A plus P of B and if General law of addition of probabilities is taken into consideration P of A intersection B. But we know that in this case particularly P of A intersection B is not possible. That means its numerical value is 0. So P of A plus P of B only will be the formula for P of A union B. Because P of A intersection B equals to 0. And this is called special law of addition of probabilities. In case of two mutually exclusive events. A and B are called mutually exclusive. Why? Intersection is not possible. Simultaneous happening of two events is not possible. Then they are called mutually exclusive. And in case of mutually exclusive, the formula of union is just P of A plus P of B. 
Now what was P of A? It was 2 by 5. What was P of B? Again 2 by 5. So P of A union B comes to 4 by 5 or 0 0.8. This is A. Now we are interested in complement of A. What is A complement? Out of E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, only E1 and E2 are there in A. So e compl A complement is E3, E4 and E5. Same way, B complement. E3 and E4. So, E1, E2 and E5. And similarly, C complement. 2, 3, 5. So E complement is made up of, sorry, C complement is made up of E1 and E4. Now on the basis of this, can we calculate some other probabilities? Now case number, say, 5. Probability of a complement union B complement. Probability of A complement union B complement. Yes, what can be the way of working? First of all, we need P of A complement. Yes, what is P of A complement? P of E3 plus P of E4 plus P of E5 and that is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 that means 3 by 5. Similarly, P of B complement, P of E1 plus P of E2 plus P of E 5 that is again 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 and 3 by 5 but in this case E 5 is common element of A as well as B that means rather A complement as well as B complement that means intersection of A complement and B complement is possible E 5 is the common element so P of A complement plus P of B complement minus P of A, inter A complement intersection B complement. Three by five plus three by five minus. 5 because only E5 is the intersection of A complement intersection B complement. Now it is 3 by 5 plus 3 by 5 minus 1 by 5. So it comes to 5 by 5 or 1. 1 means certainty. How is it possible? To so check the list E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. All the five possible events are there in case of A complement union B complement. 
that means anything out of these five happens it is one of the cases of a complement union b complement that's why it is one so this is the case of certainty if the probability of any event is one that means it is going to happen if the probability of any event is zero that is actually the event is impossible yes unique case